Awesome. So, uh, preaching to a room full of preachers, or soon to be preachers, uh, somewhat intimidating, but uh, I geared my message specifically towards the fact that all of us are ministers or going into ministry or preaching in some form. So, I'm going to be in uh, Matthew chapter 4, verse 23, if you'd like to flip there. Uh, if not, that's okay. Uh, it's real real quick. And the title of my message is The Structure, if anybody's taking notes. Um, <laughs> and, and the premise of this message is how I believe Jesus gives us a way that we as, as pastors, ministers, should structure anytime we, we, we give a message, anytime we witness, anytime we just try to share the gospel with somebody. It should be done in this way. And so Jesus, in verse 23 of the fourth chapter in Matthew, and Jesus went about all Galilee, teaching in their synagogues, preaching the gospel of the kingdom, and healing all kinds of sickness and all kinds of disease among the people. Now, I, I don't think this order that's given in Matthew is just by random. I, I think Matthew is very clear in his structure and how he put these things in this exact specific order. So when we look at them, everything has to start with teaching. Teaching is just simply laying a foundation for what is coming. I think of the man, we, we, the story in the Bible where the man builds his house uh, on the sand and then another man builds his house on the rock, right? In order to build our house, it has to be done on solid foundation. Because if we do it on the sand, we know what happens. The winds come, the waves come in, the sand washes away, and the house falls down. So we have to start with something solid. The scripture is something solid. The scripture needs to be taught. We, we, we can't get up and, and give this, this really great uh, pep rally of a message and, and expect for our congregants, our students, our children, whoever we're speaking to, to actually grow in their faith. Because they may grow a little, but eventually the winds are going to come in, the waves are going to crash on it, and it's going to destroy it. The second thing we see is preaching. Now, when we think about preaching, preaching is this encouraging time. So we've laid this foundation, right? No matter the passage, whether whether we're talking about John three sixteen, which I think he did a beautiful job presenting, and I love the one; it was brilliant. But no matter what we're preaching about, the foundation has to be built. Then we can encourage our people about what the message is saying. But if they don't know what it's about, the encouragement's pointless. Yeah. They don't get it. And then the last point is healing. Mm -hmm. A healing, in this context, a manifestation. Right? Something is being done with the Word. For our people, our congregants, our youth, to go out, witness to people, share the Word of Christ, which I think is everybody's goal in here, mm -hmm. to raise up disciples. Yeah to raise up people that are willing to go, that are willing to share the gospel. Because if we're not sharing the gospel, the church isn't growing. And if the church isn't growing, the church is what? Dying. Dying. Right. So we empower our people. That's the manifestation. The giving power. Right? We've laid a foundation. We've put rocks on the ground. We've encouraged them. We've helped them build their house. We've helped them build this beautiful, magnificent structure. But now we empower them to go and teach and preach and heal people in the community. So, I, I mean, I understand that this being four to six minutes, I myself may not have all the time in the world to conduct the three points that I just laid out, but hopefully in later sermons we can see that. Yeah. But we need to remember that the message, all the messages we conduct, that we try to deliver, 
should follow what Christ gives us. Yeah. Christ's a pretty good dude. Yeah. <laughs> pretty solid role model. And, and if Jesus says that this is how I did it, maybe we should do it that way. That's really, that's good. It may not be exactly how Paul does it, or how Peter does it, or how John does it, but they're not Jesus. Mm. Good examples, but they're not Jesus. Great. So let's remember to go. Go like Jesus did. Mm -hmm. Go laying foundations. Go encouraging people. And go manifesting into them, giving them power so that they too can continue to go out and spread and preach the gospel. That's good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.